हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू वेब इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टूडे इन दिस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सर्वलेट प्रोग्रामिंग सिंस आई एम कवरिंग द सर्वलेट टॉपिक एज पर द सिलेबस ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड कॉलेजेस एंड कंसिडरिंग द थ्योरी एग्जाम्स इन माइंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो हाउ यू कैन राइट अ सर्वलेट एग्जाम्पल कोड इन द थ्योरी एग्जाम्स वेन आई विल बी कवरिंग द सर्वलेट बाय प्रैक्टिकल दैट इज द प्रोग्रामिंग एक्सरसाइजेज आई विल बी यूजिंग इक्लिप्स विद अपाचे टॉमकेट सर्वर सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सर्वलेट सो इन द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल वी विल बी प्रिंटिंग हेलो वर्ल्ड यूजिंग सर्वलेट सो फर्स्ट आई विल बी राइटिंग द जावा कोड एंड देन वी विल सी हाउ द मैपिंग इज डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन वेब डॉट एक्स एम एल कोड so this is your java code let's name it as the hello world dot java suppose this is hello world dot java file first you have to import some of the packages like like you have to import java dot io this is the first package that you need to import then the second package is import java x dot servlet this is the package which is used for creating the servlet then the third package is to is to handle the http uh, http request and response by importing java x dot servlet dot http package so these are the three packages that you need to import so once the packages are imported after that you have to create a file so we will create a file with the name hello world so public class hello world and to create a servlet you have to extend a class you have to extend a class http servlet so by this you have created a class with the name hello world that is extending a class http servlet after that as we have discussed some of the methods in the servlet life cycle in this program we are going to initialize one string and that initialization should be done in the public void init method so declare that method public void init throws servlet exception and in this we can initialize the string value suppose we have uh, created a string here that is private string message so this variable we have created inside the class and we want to initialize this uh, variable with the string value that is hello world so right here right here message is equals to in the init method you have to write message is equals to hello world so that is how you can initialize the variable values in the init method so that is the init method now in the uh, life cycle of servlet what we have seen is every servlet depending on the type of http Uh, request type that is either do get or do post calls the appropriate method and that method is called by the service since we are not going to um, declare or define the service method here because that is the internal working of <laughs> sorry internal working of the servlet that whenever a servlet is created the service method is called and then service method will call the do get or do post method so in this i am writing the do get method you can also use do post method as per your requirement so now define do post do get method here so write public void do get 
that is a method and in this method you have to write the parameters that is http servlet request and also create a object of http servlet response then this method is throwing both servlet exception and io exception So now this method we have created and this method will be called by the service method of the servlet. Now in this method what we have to do, we have to print this hello world on the web page. So now in servlet you can use the HTML tags. Now let's see how you can use them. Since we have to provide a response on the web page, so we, have, we will use the response object of the HTTP servlet response class. So right here first response dot set content type we have to specify which type of content we are displaying so it is either text or html so write text oblique html then create an object of print writer class with this statement that is print writer object of the print writer is equals to response dot get writer so in the out we have the reference of the writer class that is associated with the response object after that you can you can simply write out dot print ln This is the method which is used to display uh, strings and variables on the screen and in this you can write the HTML code like this h1 that is the heading tag plus concatenate with the message so message again concatenate with the closing of h1 tag. So this is how you can write a simple servlet and in the end in the end what you have to do you have to define one public void destroy method also so right here public void destroy and write whatever cleanup code you want to write so that is the java file of the servlet now to run a servlet on a server we have to create a xml file and that is the mapping file and the name of the mapping file is web.xml so to run this code particular code you have to write this mapping file also and that mapping file is like this create a tag servlet then the tag is servlet name you have to specify the name of the servlet that is hello world close this particular tag I am not writing the entire tag you can close it with the same uh, name then the class so servlet class in this it is same that is hello world again close it with the same name then close the servlet tag after that you have to create a servlet mapping so the tag is servlet mapping again servlet name that is hello world
then we have to use the URL pattern. This is the pattern which will be used to open this particular Java code on the web browser. So you can specify anything but for simplification I am using the same name that is slash hello world. Then close this URL pattern also and finally close the servlet mapping. So these are the two files that needs to be created whenever you want to display the or whenever you want to run a servlet. This is the configuration file web.xml. This is your configuration. This is the first method that is the init method, second method public void do get and the third method is destroy. You can also use do post method here with the same syntax just you have to use do post and the same code will work. So this is the uh, first example of servlet. When we will run this program on Eclipse and using Apache Tomcat server that will be more clear to you but for the theory exam point of view you can see how you can use uh, you can write the code in the theory exams. So thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such tutorials. Thank you.